praise the Lord. Self-denial is the most basic requirement to follow Jesus. But we have, uh, I, by the way, meron akong hinanda na awitin na. Diba? Bali, short naman yan eh. Alam niyo ang bishop natin, galing sumulat, sumulat ang awit, ano? Maganda itong awit kasi history ito. History ito. May UK, may Hong Kong. Kaya ito. In line with our, with our topic, ano?
the star We were happy When I had so much money But he changed very quickly When there was no more money Now I am waiting alone Hoping that he will come home but if he does not come home, then I know where he has gone. Oops, how pitiful. Oops, how pitiful. It's a life full of trouble when there is no self-control. Lord, I am already of this life very lonely I pray you will have mercy help me from my misery Amen. if only you will help me make my life again happy from now on I will obey and serve you very truly. Join me now. Oops, how pitiful. Oops, how pitiful. It's a life full of trouble when there is no self-control. True story kasi ito. Naipon-ipon na mga testimony ng mga kapatid. True to life. Kaya sabihin mo sa katabi mo, self-control. <laughs> Nahirap na, no? <laughs> Pag walang self-control. No? Sabi dito, self-denial and sacrifice the key to reach our destiny sinong gustong pupunta ng langit Amen. of course ah. from day one when Jesus began to teach he already laid out the requirements so before we read, let's go to the next slide. Ang intro ko, since I came to know the Lord, the first message I heard from the bishop is self-denial. Hanggang ngayon, bishop is teaching self-denial. So, even, even, even na uh, yung mga kapwa kong pastor, mas nauna pa sa akin. The, the, the pastors who gone ahead of me, and uh, was ahead of me, they were telling, whenever we come to the center, or may mga gatherings, I heard them say, patay lang ang makakapagtulong. Ano uh, makapagtuloy na yung nag-serve dito. Na tayo lang. Ito na ag So, even many people, many servants of the Lord have known this and they realize the reality that without self-denial, you cannot make it. Bakit kaya nila sinasabi? Ano? Siguro naman with this 30 years of, uh, naka 30 years na tayo, Sister Virgie. I went full time, I went full time in eh, 1993. So 2003 ngayon, uh, I am now 30 years old. At least I'm younger. 30 years in full time. 
So I spent more more years in serving than uh, no unbeliever pa ako. Maganda. Ba? But with these 30 years, bakit ko binabanggit to? It is more than enough to tell and to testify the, 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 the truthfulness of this. Siguro, in, pag walang self-denial sa akin, kung hindi ko natutunan to, wala rin ako dito. Amen? Maybe I will not be here. I would not, I wouldn't be here. Because, Self-denial is the, the primary requirement in following Jesus. Okay? Why in these end times, alam niyo ang characteristic ng end times na to, people are strong-willed. Abuse of freedom each one will do his own. I can do whatever I want, especially during the West. And uh, they, don't, they don't know that the Bible says there is a way that seems right to man, but the end it leads to destruction. Okay? So next page. Next slide. Yan. So these are the scriptures. Nakita yun? Haan. Tababasi. Nakita? Jayon yung nakita niya. And you can see it. Uh, we will not read all those scriptures. Mahala na kayo dyan. Anyway, I, dyan may kopya dyan. May kopya kayo dyan na uh, kay sister. You will always say uh, Okay. So one of those, let's read one of those, uh, one of those scriptures in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Sabidon, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Now, sanay kayo dito sa Hong Kong sa word na must. Kasi pinagpunso ni Bishop, pinagpasay ni Bishop. Ano ang must? Must. What if palitan mo yung must at saka conditional lang? You will not make it. Because that's the, that's the emphasis of Jesus. If you don't, then you will fail. Amen? So if anyone, meaning referring to anybody, you and me, girl and boy, young and old, whoever, he must deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. Yung cross sacrifice yan. Sacrifice. So lahat ng mananampalataya, kung hindi ka ma-persecute, there are price. There is a price to pay so that we will go to heaven. Amen? Because ito kasing mundo, alam natin, makasalanan talaga Itong mundo is the kingdom, it is the country of the devil. We need to always go to the immigration of heaven so that we will go to heaven. Ano ang immigration ng langit? Dito sa church. Amen? So if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. You will see na before Jesus before Jesus emphasized this right before that verse that was the time he rebuked Peter Satanas ka talaga niya Get behind me Satan 
So I, how many of you were with us uh, the first day of the seminar? Ah, uh, sino ang wala pala? Sino ang wala? Oh, manami. Oh, for the sake of you, you know, ang dali-daling naging demonyo. Yes. Don't you know that there is a demon inside of you that you need to overcome? That is your self-will. Kaya tingnan nyo si, tingnan nyo si Peter. When he insists on his self-will, that's the time. That's the time Jesus rebuked him. Get behind me, Satan. Kaya ang dali-dali natin maging satanas. Kahit na hindi satanas, kahit demonyo, medyo maliit. <laughs> And over the years, we have seen people napaka, napaka obedient, not very kind, very submissive, very good. But all of a sudden, baliktad. Hindi na alagahan. They did not, they were not careful. self will came in, became strong. And over, all of a sudden, they're gone. Amen? That is why, alam nyo, habang ini-study ko to, while I'm studying this, I was looking at myself. I am looking at myself. The more, the higher you go in the ministry, in the ranks, alam nyo, sa totoo Kung pwede lang sana, kung pipili ako ng uh, trabaho para sa kanya, mas gusto ko yung trabaho ni Brother Bob. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious because I'm safe. Mas safe, safe, safe. Tikis, tikis sunod ka na. Paraw-awot ka lang. Agas din din siya para pagbag ka. Di ba? You don't plan out because you are beside the man of God. When not a big responsibility is put into your shoulder. You make remedy, you make plans, you make decision. Most of the time, you decide without submitting. And that's where self will butts in. And yan, chap. Yan ka sasabunin. Bakit mo hindi sinabi sa akin? And we fail a lot. You understand? Kaya ito, walang nakaka-graduate pa dito. Graduate lang tayo dito pag nandun na tayo. <laughs> that's why we don't believe on eternal security. See, anything can happen tomorrow. Amen? Mamay mo, mamay mo, mamay mo, mamay mo, sige. Hindi ko na ito ba yan. Let's go to the next uh, page. Next page of our topic. Right. Ito talaga ang demonyo. Self-will is our enemy. There are three big enemies of Christian by the time we follow Jesus. The world, Satan, and yourself. Self-will. Self-will is always making tug of war with the perfect will of God. Amen? Oh, are you getting me? Wala. Now I wrote there. Why is the re what is the reason why say Lucifer became Satan? Because of self will. The five I of Lucifer. Can you imagine? I want to emphasize a little bit on that. When God created Lucifer. He created him perfect. Amen? 
perfect and holy. That's why he was called a morning star. And he was assigned nearest to the throne of God to lead praise and worship because according to the Bible, he was created with instrument built in his body. All your pumps and your lyres were built in thee on the day you were created. That is in Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 12. So built in. He was holy. He was perfect. But how come he became Satan? You know, the, the, kung ano ang testing sila sa kanila noon sa langit. The same test with us today. Amen? How did God test heaven? By giving the freedom of choice. Now, ang, ang purpose, the purpose of giving the freedom of choice is not really the intention of making anybody evil. Hello? You have to, I have to emphasize that. It's not the intention of making a making Satan uh, Lucifer Satan. No, God gave the freedom of choice for a good reason. What is the reason? The only reason is for the purpose of loving God. The word love, God. Amen. Imagine no inarami dito yung robot. I want the freedom of choice, thing. Love me. Yes, I love you. <laughs> don't love me. Yes, I don't love you. Kasla tayo robot. No, di ba? Kalo man takabay mo, you are not a robot. So the purpose of God, the purpose of God in giving us the freedom of choice so that we can freely love God. Tanong awan di jai, di ba yung rape? Diba? Kasla sa pilita? No. It's, it's, it's to love God freely. Amen? But then, that good purpose became a big test. Big test because at dagamin dito yung Bent in mo dito ipanunod tayo di will the will power so ako na lang a word there is a will there is a way well I know karkaro na ti kantam at papilit ng papilit papilit ka lang ang karayon no so That became a test. So nga, ganan na tayo. Proverbs 14.12, ito yung malang ta makikita kung di outline. Nalaka nga malpas no, Pastor. The Proverbs, I memorized this kasi, ano, kanayan mo mabasbasa. 14.12, There is a way that seems right to man. But, In the end, it leads to death or destruction. Mayat na ito yung ahal. Anam. Anam, you don't seek confirmation from the Bible or from the man of God. Apay, ustong matada ito eh. Is it right to do this? If you follow your own will, then there comes destruction. Now, ah, Let's read in Romans chapter 8, verse 5 to 8. It says there, it's enmity. That's why I called her enmity against God. If you follow the sinful nature, the epigamic sinful nature to you is aligned with our natural thinking. So, but if we hope, chapter 5, Uh, verse 5, oh, verse 
Those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what the nature desires. But those who live in accordance to the Spirit have their minds set on the Spirit's desire. That's why the battleground really is the mind. Okay? Next verse, please. It says there, The mind of a sinful man is death. Oh, grabe na. But the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. Next, the sinful mind is hmm, dito, hostile to God or in King James it says enmity. You know what is enmity? Enemy. Simplify it. Enemy of God. Iso nga, titao, show me if you show me a person nga permi nga napilit nga willful You become an enemy of God. Amen? Amen. And definitely, you are not aware that you are going against God. That's why it's hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. It is self-free. So that's why it's very detrimental. Amen? No wonder Jesus said, Masapon, mag-deny tayo. Naman takabay mo, masapon. Masapon. Pagtaganong kailangan. In English, mas. Hallelujah. Amen? Kung mabibindi siya na kada kayo nga nakita me di, three years ago, four years ago, ten years ago, at kayo pa lang, hallelujah. <laughs> Siguro ang denial yun. Yeah. Because, look at that. Without self-denial, you come to church. Ay, ang kapay din mandano na church, nariin ka tiyag saba. Sabsabali di, ay hindi pa nun. Alam na mga problema ito ka nga nagtapos. Awan lang ka. Wala kang kasama sa kwarto mo. Nakasimangot ka na. May problema ka na. There's what they say, you get up from the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> Tapos, umagang-umaga, nababadtrip. Mag-isa lang natulog doon, badtrip na. Anong nangyari? You see, kahit wala kang kasama, may problema ka. Saan galing? Sa loob. Sa liti. Amen? Kakarano, at ang pangpanunod ng Pilipinas. Kahit ibagbagam. Kasto'y teramid na nyo. Handa ngayon naramid na ba't trip ka? Ay, meron bang Tagalog dito? Meron po. Ah, sorry. Sorry. Okay, so let's let's move on to the topic. Kailang yan enmity po yan. The demon inside of you is the self actually. We all have demons to overcome, and the way to overcome is simple: self deny. Amen. Amen. Self-denial. Next, uh, next uh, page, please. Ah, yeah, and I discussed this. I discussed this uh, already, but for the purpose of those, uh, yeah, I emphasize on that, but I told it already. Uh, just like Peter. Sometimes we are like Peter most of the time. We follow our own will. Ganito, eh, I would like to make it as an example further. How many of you experience pumunta ka sa church, meron kang hindi kursonada na nakita? Okay. 
Hindi lang ko, hindi ko sa nada. Ayaw. Hindi, parang naispat yun, naistambul ka. Naiinis ka. Nas, naranasan niyo yun? Amen. Pag walang, can you imagine, pag walang self-denial, one or two times ka lang pupunta ng church, wala na, bagsak ka na. Because a church is a place of imperfect people. Amen. Correct? Amen. Sino ang perfect dito? Taas ang kamay. Wala. Wala. So if you come here in church, don't expect that everybody is perfect. We are all striving to change. Amen? Amen. We are all striving to change. Okay? Kaya sana maunawa na yun. May nagsasabi, ganun ba ang born again? Ha? Kita ko sa mga sunog ni. Parang ganyan, bakit ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Kung minsan, may mga iba, paguan lang, ay nakapanta nun pa yan. Hindi pa natuto mag-skirt. Huwag mo namang i-condemn ka agad. Amen? Kundi sa labitan mo, hello sister. Hello sister. You are welcome. Ano mo na, nagayipugaw ka dito. Nagayipugaw dito. You are welcome here. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Because hindi magtatagal, meron din silang makikita sa iyo. Amen. Kaya that is why we need self denial. Okay, next tayo. Self-denial is the key to enjoy serving the Lord. How many of you want to enjoy serving the Lord? Yes! Wow! Mayat karutin, mayat kita, enjoy ito yun. The key of no struggle is self-denial. Amen? Self-denial. If you know, there are You can only there are uh, there are tests if you are self-denying. For example, obedience. Oh, you know, Mother Adeline, you always teach this. You spell obedience. Oh, take the first three letters and the last three letters, letters, <laughs> letters, and then die is the center. Perfect obedience is. Self denial. You die to yourself. Amen? Amen. So, no struggle at all. Ura siguro na ka uy uyong kahit na ang sungit ng employer mo. Pag self denied ka. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, sir. Okay, sir. Ura no serious, sir, sir, kalan. Oh, perfect obedience. Amen. Your submission, no problem because you are surrendered. Amen. In your relationship, I include there, alam nyo, yung mga self-denying. Oh, they, walang problema sa relasyon nila because they're getting along. Pero pag ang mag, magkarelasyon, let's, take, let's put example, mag-asawa, ano? Alam mo, kapag walang self-denial ang mag-asawa, ay may kira. <laughs> diba? So nga tikanta dapat, Gugubat, kinapapat, <laughs> panagrikiyar kita. That's, You know, the, you want your marriage to be happy? Self-denial is the key. Amen? Amen? Amen. No, kapapa, ay makitang tihawan di self-denial ng agasawa. They are not enjoying. They're not enjoying. 
Now, let's go now to our relationship with Jesus and our relationship together. If we don't have a, a self-denial, wala, hindi natin ma-enjoy. Sige, punta tayo dito. Kanya-kanyang pilit-pilit ang gusto. Everyone will do what he wants. Ay, ayaw ko yan. Yan. Sa tingin mo lang sa kapwa mo, ay, hindi ko kursunada ito. Ayaw ko to. I don't like this. I don't like this. I want this. I want this. What will happen to the church? Magulo. Amen? Kahit na mag-evangelize ka, sabi na, come to the church. Eh. Bakit ako pupunta dyan? Magulo eh. Pero pag self-denied mga tao, matuto mag-self-denied. Uh, you see, sa Asher pa lang, sabi, hello sister. <laughs> Di ba? Ay, oray nun, saksikit ba si Tichan na ka? Hello. <laughs> Ako, this is it, pina? Oray nun, nasakit ba si Tichan na ka? Ay, okay lang, beta. Mamatiyak agasan ng tiyapo. Okay. I need to smile. Ano na na? Amen ka. Ano, aji awan si Denayan. Panakata. <laughs> Very irritable. Bakit? <clears throat> Madam lang, pipiro, kapa, kapa na. Yeah. Magulo. But self-denial, oh, good, good relationship. Amen? 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 Amen. Yeah. Ano na? Ano ba yun eh? Next. Self-denial in action. Wow. Madaling, I tell you, Madaling ituro itong self-denial. Pero, pag gawin mo, <laughs> ay, iba. I heard somebody, sabi niya sa akin, Pastor, self-denied naman ako eh. That's only the, that alone is an indication that you are not denied. Eh, good morning myself na yan. Yeah. Amen? Jesus and Gethsemane. Now, I always go to Israel. The last time I went, hamad nga rin ay panpanakal. Ngam, oray no tricycle driver up lang. God has given me favor. Oh, at least, di ba? Yeah. It was my 45 times to go to Israel. And I know the meaning of Gethsemane. That's what I learned there. The word God, see, money. The word God is pressed. That's why the, the very place where Jesus prayed, not my will but yours be done, is an exact place to emphasize the self denial. That is where he was pressed spiritually, physically, everything, and he sweat as if he's sweating blood. Amen? He was pressed. And that's where he said, not my will, but yours be that. And that's the beginning, and that marks the victory. Magpasalamat tayo at Jesus prayed not my will but yours be done. Siguro pag hindi siya nag-pray ng ganyan, ewan. But the same, the same is what we need in self-denial. Total surrender. Amen? 1 John 3.16 says, This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down His life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. Now, why, why did I include that? Alam nyo, pag hindi ka self-denied, you cannot even evangelize. Sarili mo lang ang iniisip mo. Alam nyo, mga walang self-denial, Sa pagkain pa lang, siya ang inuuna. 
Sa pila, kailangan siyang first. Ano pa? Wala, makasalili yan. Amen? But, if you are self-denied, then you can have passion for the loss. Because you don't only think for yourself. You think yourself last. And then you think of others first. Amen? Amen. You can love the unlovable. Ure nung nakangamu. Umasidig ka na tayo, kararag mo. In Jesus' name, maragasan ka. Jesus died for you. Amen? Self-denial in action. Now, think of something that you can apply self-denial instead of thinking of yourself. You think of others first. One time, I went to a place di ko nasasabihin kung saan. Biglang meron akong nadat ng napamilya. Sabi niya, Pastor, mahirap talaga pala dito. Tatlong beses niyang binanggit yung mahirap. Oh, there's something wrong. Yun pala ay, I came to learn na upos ng pagkain nila, pati gatas ng bata, wala na. Yung pera ko na nasa wallet ko, it is supposed to be for my children too. But then, you know what? I have to empty my wallet. You go, 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 and buy something. And the result of that is they, they are now coming to church. The whole family of them. Amen? Kita niyo, one evidence of those who don't have self-denial is kuribot yan. Hello? Kaya it's time to change your name. Kung ang, ano kaya ang pangalan mo? Kung kuribot ang pangalan mo, pati palitan na. Ang isang pangalan ng mga iba, popular name is Miss Struggle. And Mrs. Struggle, ay, masabakat mo lang. You just, you just meet her. Walang ibang sinasabi. Struggle ko. Pressure ako. Alam mo, na-stress ako. Mrs. Struggle yan. It's time to change your name. Amen? kailangan mag-deny ka para mapalitan naman ng Miss Joyful. Amen? Miss Joyful. Oh, palagpakan natin ang Panginoon. Niya ba eh, sumarono. Pinginsulat tayo dito. So, let's compare Let's compare those who have self-denial and those who, have, who don't have self-denial. And these are my observation and practical kahit na kayo makikita ninyo. Okay, yung with self-denial, tingnan natin. Tingnan mo ang obedience ng mga self-denial. No problem. Sabi ng mga tagapuntok. No problem. Tingnan mo ang submission nila. No problem. Okay? Humility. No problem. Okay. Service. Enjoying. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Hindi reklamo ng reklamo. Enjoying. Discipline? No problem. no problem. 
Pag nagalit yung pastor nila, ganito, disiplina tayo, ha? Walang kalat-kalat dyan ng mga candy wrappers. Ano ba? So, mag because alam nyo, pag walang disiplina, magulo ang mundo. Disiplina ang kailangan para uunlad ang ayan. Ganun din yan. No problem pag discipline. What's next? Correction. Makorek ka. Hallelujah, thank you ah, for correcting me. No problem. Pag wala kang self-denial, ikorek ka. Ano? Justify ka ng justify? Hindi mo ba alam? Pero pag may self-denial, ah, no problem. Rebuke. Peaceful. Okay lang, Pastor. I am not guilty. Okay lang. It's good to be rebuked, you know? Oh, di ba? Pag may request ka, not granted. No problem. Di ba? May mga iba kasi, sinulat kasi, o kasi yan, kasi pag may nagre-request, hindi nag-grant na. Ay, ang babakslide na. Mag-instruct na. Remember? Forgiveness? Ah, forgiven. Hindi pa nga um umihingi ng tawad yung nagpasagit sa kanya. Forgiven na kaagad kasi it's alright. Nagkakamali. And your understanding will widen. Meron doon sa UK. When I was driving, kita ko madilim, tapos may snow, tapos tutok ng tutok itong sa likod ko. Eh, hey, mag-slow down kasi. You know, sige, pina-overtake pina ko. Nag-overtake, hindi rin makapag- uh, uh, makapag-abante dahil <laughs> na-realize naman. Ako na. Okay, kita yun. Nung instead na maasar ako, sabi, sabi ko na lang sa isip ko, Siguro makatagtagkin. <laughs> May meron lang na naibag ang mga kasi ito kung nuhang ka nga doon. <laughs> so nga nga dati ang Google over team. Ah, makatagtagkin din. <laughs> so you are forgiving, you are set free. Mapagpasensya ka. Pag may self-denial, di ba? O kaya sabihin mo sa katabi mo, pasensyahin mo na ako. Okay? Yan. Alright. What about love? Hindi very jano. Malalim. Tingnan yung pagmamahal ni Bishop natin. Malalim yan. He is thinking of your welfare. Nakakita ka ng church na pag magkasakit ang mga pastor, sky is the limit. Even if we drain all the funds just to keep the pastor or worker alive, not even a company or any institution will be is like that in the world. Not even the Malacanang. Pero sa free believers, love is deep. Deep, deep. Oh, not yet. You get down in there. Passion for souls. Passionate. Sacrifice. Yeah, the definition of true love is sacrifice. Without sacrifice, no true love. Amen. What is unity? Ayan. Alam niyo mga self-denied people, they are easily united. Okay? Madaling i-unite itong mga self-denied people. Likes? Mga likes nila, hindi sila mapili. They are friend of everybody. Amen? They are welcoming. Friend of everybody. Oh, etc. Oh, dagdagan na ninyo. 
O, dito naman, sa kabila. O, tingnan ninyo. Obedience is struggling. Padabog pa. Pamilita. <laughs> no, saan lang mga ako? Hey, ako na kami dito ito. <laughs> Submission. Ah, bakit ba ako mag-submit sa iyo? Pareho lang tayo kung yan. <laughs> Pero, yun ang uh, mga eh, pag walang self-denial, mangyayari. Humility, false humility. Service, service. Oh, nag struggle <laughs> Discipline, struggle. Correction, madaling masaktan. That's why, uh, you know, that that is an unforgettable experience I have here. Eh, siguro narinig din yung testimony ko dito. I came here the first time, 1996. Sinong nandito noong 1996? Wala. Ah, si, si, um, I came here, you know what? First time na mag-preach ako sa street pitching doon sa Lakman. Very powerful ang ginawa ng Panginoon. Nag-isla yung mga tao. Nakita ko yung kasing ko noon. Long time noon siya. Nag-uusap kami doon. Uma nakita ko naman umawit mga team. Di ko nawala yan. Biglang nawala. Narapturo sila. Ngayon, pansin ko, wala na sila. Sabi ko sa kasin ko, pwede ba magtawagan na lang tayo? E nakalimutan ang pinuhang telephone number. Paano magtawagan yan? Pero ang concern ko, wala na sila. So, it was, I, I just arrived yesterday and the street pitching is today. Hindi ko pa alam ng loud at daya. Yung north and south and west, I don't know anything about Hong Kong. Wala pang telephone number. Tapos, I went there, I went there. Wala. In short, I was left alone. Praying, puti na lang may mga anghel na nagdala sa akin. Back to the church. Sabi nila, ang nag, nag, uh, nag-delay sa akin ng mga umuwi, sabi nila, hindi namin kayo dadalhin doon if we will not feed you. Sabi ng mga kapatira, we will not take you there if we, not, we will not feed you. Kaya, disidido sila. Kaya, sige. Kahit ano dyan, madalihan na. Kasi ang disiplina ni Bishop, palang ko, uh, walang kakain kung hindi dahil kung ito. So nobody ate. I went home to Jervois Street. You remember Jervois Street? And sabi ko doon, dinala ako sa pintuan. Then they left. They went home. I ran to the second floor. I opened the door. And then, sabi ni Bishop, Okay, you pray. Let's eat. <laughs> sabi niya, Nangantayo. Nala ka niya. Ay, tapos na ako. <laughs> Kasi kumain kami ng noodles. Maya-maya, uh, sabi niya, Andre, Handa mo yung kuwit mo. <laughs> para maganda yung pagpalo. Ano <laughs> kung sina pinagsasabi nito? Ah, oh, habang kumakain sila, sabi niya, Bishop, after dinner, all staff meeting. Sabi niya, fifth floor. Sa bagay, hindi naman ako staff dito. Isita lang ako, sabi niya. I didn't know that I am the topic. Because I was left alone. They thought that I intended to stay. And when he was scolding me there and he was correcting me, I just kept silent. Even if my ear is parang umiinip na. 
sabi ko, sorry Bisha, pastor panon, di ba Bisha? Sorry pastor, ito yung natahabi na yan. It's good I treated it maturely. I did not justify myself. But I have seen many corrected here in Hong Kong. They were hurt. And that's the reason why they left. The only bottom line is no self-denial. I thank the Lord because itong tinuturo ko sa inyo ay naranasan ko. Amen? So, that's why I'm still here. When I was corrected, yeah, sometimes it hurts, but when you apply self-denial, kulang lang at magpasin. Let it go, let it go. Pagkatapos ng kinorek ako, dinisiplina ako dyan, I just humbled myself and, and then you know what at 3 o'clock we started at 9 o'clock we finished meeting 3 o'clock in the morning ako ang topic because when we went home sige, nagmamadaliwang pumunta sa pintuan sabi, sabi ni Bishop Melchor, you stay ay <laughs> Habang dalawa lang kami doon, si mother na doon doon sa room. Alam niyo yung typewriter noon? Yung... Buti hindi yung chip. Mabilis kaya mag-type si Bishop. I was just preparing myself. Ano ba ang sasabihin niya? It's okay. I'm ready. And all the while, he turned with a smile. <laughs> oh! Sabi niya, Melchor, sabi niya, masakit ba ang pagpano ko? <laughs> oh, dinig ko lang ganyan. Ay, kaslangad down, DJ Luwag ngay nga. Nag-arubos ngay nga. Parang dam na na-open. I just keep crying there with no holds na talagang no, walang krino. And I said, Paano na kaya kung wala kayo? Na nagdidisiplina sa akin. We just do what we want. And that's the time he said, he told me, I was not a pastor at the time. That's the time he told me, Melchor, I want you to be ordained. Look at that. So I learned a big principle. And the key is self-denial. Oh, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, deny it lang. Deny it lang. Amen. Amen. Deny it lang yan. So, pag makorek kayo, huwag kang mag-struggle. Amen. Hindi naman ako ang gumawa, Pastor. Hindi, kahit na-correct ka, you know what? If you are corrected and you are not the one who did it, then you are not supposed to be guilty. It's fine. Smile and say, okay. Amen? <laughs> but if you're the one who did it and you're corrected, okay, so we... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Rebukes. Request granted, struggle, forgiveness, ayan, maging bitter. Kaya, itong mga walang self-denial, puno sila sa bitterness. Um, and then, love, very shallow. Very shallow. Superficial lang yung love pag walang self-denial. Kasi, pag uh, may nagluluto, mag-ina, birthday ng anak, sabi eh, nung dumating mga bisita. Sabi nila sa bata, 
Okay, let's uh, tell the child to pray. Everybody, all the friends. I don't know how to pray. Sabi ng bata. At pinili ito mga bisita, sabi niya, just tell what mommy is saying. Siguro ang point nila, kung anong napapakinggan mong prayer ng mommy mo, yun ang sasabihin mo. Yun pala, sabi niya, inuulit niya yung sinabi ng mommy nung nagluluto. Where have all these people are coming from? <laughs> ang daling mga tao mga ito. Nagre-reklamo ka na, nagluluto. Ay, miss ka nyo. Hindi pala, ilo, very shallow ang love. Ano? Ah, kaya ang service, shallow rin. Eh, doon, huwag na yung gawin yan, ha? Amen? Passion, no passion. Sacrifice, not willing, not willing, but questioning. Pwede ka nung wakas ka. O pwede ka nung wakas yun. O pwede ka nung wakas yun. O pwede. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Uh, unity? Ay, bakit ako mag-unite dyan? Ay, mahirap i-unite ang walang self-denial. Di ba? Halika dito, magkaisa tayo. Bakit? <laughs> Halika dito. Okay, on Wednesday, meron tayong prayer meeting, ha? Ba, pag-pray natin muna. May pag-pray pa kung may prayer meeting. <laughs> Mahirap talaga i-unite ang mga walang self-denial. Okay? Likes? Ay, maraming ayaw niya. Kaya, kunti lang ang, ang friends. <laughs> Pero tayo dito, marami tayong friends, di ba? Okay? Right? Et cetera. Nagdagan na ninyo dyan. O, tapos na. Sinong gusto, may balak na kayong mag-self-deny? O, pili kayo dito. Banda dito o banda dyan? Simple. Now, now let's. I, I'll take this seriously now. For all these years, pastors, workers, leaders, as well as members, pare pare ko lang tayo. No exception. If pastor don't deny themselves, they will not make it. If leaders don't deny, they will not make it. Kasi dadami lang ang kumplay niya. But blessed are those who deny themselves. Remember, day one pa lang. If you want to follow Jesus, you must deny yourself. Don't blame anybody. You cannot blame anybody on judgment day. Amen? Siya kasi, Lord, it's because of Him. No, you cannot. Salvation is individual. Amen? So each one will deny himself or herself because ang ipikto nito, you will make it to the very end. Kahit maraming asumot yan na dadaanan mo kung denied ka, walang epekto sa iyo. I give an example. How many of you know the late Pastor Jan? Pastor Jan Pano. He came here, did he? Came here. One of the oldest pastor of free believers. We were walking down in Sagada. Going to embassy. They call it embassy. <laughs> then, at the top of the road, on the hill, there is a group of boys, young people. You know, ang sinasabi nila. Pango, 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 pango. They were teasing him. Now, I learned that hindi lang pala minsan yun. Palagi, pag nakita nila si pango, 
Ganun. Ginagawa niya. We were walking and said, nakita ko si pastor dyan, diretsyo lang. Ako tuloy ang nangasa. <laughs> Sabi ko, tinignan ko yung mga bata. Wala naman akong sinabi. Ginaroon ko lang. Nagtakbuhan sila. Nakita ako ni pastor dyan. Sabi niya, ay pastor, not sure. Hindi mo problema yan. Ako yung problema ang data. Ay, kagitin. Ay, nalihiyok ako. <laughs> Sabi ko, buti pa itong pastor mo. Walang ipikto. Kahit may persecution, ako ano yung sinasabi sa kanila. Wala. That's not my problem. Man, doon ako nalihiyok. Hindi pa ka, hindi pala ako dinahin. <laughs> Di ba? Mayroon tayong attitude na palaban, di ba? Ha? At pahaisi ka lang. <laughs> But that is the indication that we are not yet denied. But when we deny ourselves, it should not affect you. Amen? Walang ipik to. If you hear something not good, fine. <laughs> Sabi nila, you know, one, I have a friend, uh, a British guy. His name is Sam. And the dad is uh, Stephen. Steve. Mm, may pinuntahan kami. Pinapakilala ko sa kaibigan nila na landlord. Oh! Sabi niya, tinawag niya, come in. I want to meet, I want you to meet my friend. Here is Melchior. Alam niyo ang description niya sa akin. You know what? This guy doesn't swear. <laughs> He doesn't swear. Am I to swear? Doon kasi, mga unbeliever, puro, puro, F, F, F. Hindi naman talaga buntok. <laughs> puro, puro swearing ba? But they never heard me swear. Yun pala, inoobserba pala ng mga unbeliever din tayo. Amen. Pag nakikipag-friend tayo, hindi you're observing us. At ang na-observe kaagad nila, walang swearing words na lumalabas sa akin. I just make and keep smiling and then, hello, just treating them well. And then, nanonong pa sa akin, he introduced me and said, you know, this guy doesn't swear, you know. <laughs> Oh, fine. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Sabi ko matano, yung mga muda ka matag. You know, show me doesn't swear. Nyanagan mo mat. Ami doesn't swear. Nyanagan mo? Huh? Elisa. Elisa. Oh, may may put adi jay. No. Hmm. Ay dahil to yung nakapsak ko. Anangan mo ngagmuryo. Palakpakan tayo niya po Diyos Dapat ba awanin sa Blessed are the poor in spirit You know the We were in Israel in the Mount of Beatitude And we are discussing this verse Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they, theirs is the kingdom of God. How do you fully describe poor in spirit? That is another word that explains poor in spirit. Poor in spirit, the full description is self-denied life. You want to inherit the kingdom of God? Deny yourself. Amen? Kaya kung mapilit ka noon, napati ka, you are always willful, magtampo ka kung hindi nangyari ang gusto mo, at mapagtampuhin, ukusan, 
yung Japanese ng mapagtampo o kusa. <laughs> Ayan. So, blessed are the poor and spirit. Let us be poor and spirit. Let us be self-denied. Amen? Just like the little children. You know, kahit na pinalo mo yan, mamaya-maya, naka-smile pa rin. Na-forget niya yung pagpalo mo sa kanya. Amen? So, this time, na-bless ba kayo sa topic natin? Amen! Okay, the message is not finished. When is it finished? When you do that. Amen. <laughs> okay? Alright. Tell your neighbor. Hmm, ganun mo. <laughs> Hindi naik ito ah. Hindi naik dito. Let's do it. Let's do it. Amen. Okay. Lord Jesus, make us joyful and serene. By giving us a self-denied life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.